Hello and a very warm welcome from the Oxfordshire Local Enterprise Partnership and Oxlet Business. I'm Howard Bentham and I'm your host for this, the second in an exciting series of events during 2021 and early 2022 to welcome companies new to Oxlet Business. Oxfordshire truly is a great place to set up and grow a business for so many reasons. It is world leading in many fields. As the Local Enterprise Partnership for Oxfordshire, we have a proven track record in supporting businesses to reach their ambitions through an array of programmes, funding opportunities and networking events right across the county. Over the past year, with the backdrop of COVID-19 and Britain's transition from the EU, our role has become more pivotal. Since the start of the pandemic, we've introduced a number of new and effective programmes and funds created to provide <coughs> critical support, which has allowed many among our business community to become more agile and flexible whilst also encouraging greater levels of business diversification, despite the worst that COVID-19 has thrown at them. Put simply, the support infrastructure provided by Oxlet Business is second to none. Over the coming months and years, we're determined to play a key role in ensuring that the county's businesses are able to run as efficiently as possible and remain truly productive as we emerge from these incredibly challenging times for us all. Our second new to Oxlet Business Breakfast webinar will focus on businesses looking to scale up their operations. Through the Escalate program, we've supported many Oxfordshire organisations who are growing their market access, number of employees, revenues and more. This morning, you're going to hear from our programme managers and key advisors, along with several businesses who have already benefited from the Escalate program. I'll make some introductions shortly. And we're very keen for today's session to be really interactive. If you're watching this live, as you can see on the screen, there's a chat facility on the platform. Uh, we'll put as many of your questions to our panelists in a dedicated Q&A at the end of the broadcast. If you're watching this as a recording, then please get in touch via the website at oxletbusiness.co.uk and a member of the team will get back to you. Speaking to us later are representatives from three Oxfordshire businesses that have benefited from the Escalate program from Oxlet Business. Before we meet them, let's take a moment to get an overview on Oxlet Business's offer to companies in Oxfordshire and learn some more about Escalate. This whole series of presentations is aimed at businesses who are new to Oxlet Business, so let's help you understand what we are all about. And it's really encouraging having taken a very quick headcount that we have so many watching live right now who are genuinely new to Oxlet Business. It really is great to have you with us. So let me welcome our first contributors, both from Oxlet Business. Sarah Beale is Escalate Programme Executive. Sarah has been with Oxlet for five years as Project Manager and Economic Development <laughs> Coordinator. Previously, she worked at Oxfordshire County Council. And we've got Andrea Collins with us, who is an International Trade and Business Growth Specialist with over 25 years experience working for FTSE and NASDAQ companies in the UK and in Europe. She's Managing Director of the Export Department, a specialist consultancy providing business growth programs nationwide and manages the team of domain specialists for the Escalate program at Oxlet Business. A very warm welcome to you both. Sarah, if I may kick off with you, many businesses watching this are, as I've said already, new to Oxlet Business. So it's probably worth just briefly making clear what Oxlet Business does and how that fits in with the, the wider role of the Oxfordshire Local Enterprise Partnership. Thanks, Howard. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Really great to have you with us. Um, so very briefly, because we've got a lot to get through this morning, um, broadly, Oxlet's <laughs> role is to drive forward Oxfordshire's economy, and we do that working in partnership across the public and private sectors. Um, and we do this in many, many ways. Um, and Oxlet Business is one of the ways in which we do that. So Oxlet Business is the growth hub for Oxfordshire. Our role is to help local businesses grow. So if you're a small and medium sized business and you want some support or guidance, then we're basically the place to come to. Um, you know, we can help with through our business support tool to direct you to the best kind of support. And that might be through one of our many programs of which Escalate is just one. Or it might be that we can signpost you elsewhere to the most relevant support and advice that you need. All sounds uh, really good. So give us a broader picture, if you like, on Escalate, Andrea, if if you would. So we, we've got the scope of, of what's on offer here. 
Absolutely, Howard. So um, thanks for having me this morning and, and welcome everyone. Um, I effectively manage the, the scale up side of Escalate. So the programme is split into two halves. So I'm going to talk about scale up today. Um, but we have a whole raft of support from um, one to one sessions to webinars, to workshops, to peer support for high growth SMEs and companies that are looking to truly scale up their operation. We can take them right way through from um, idea inception um, or business startup, you know, kind of early stage growth right the way through to accessing finance and becoming investment ready. So it's, it's a huge scope of support that we can offer. And Sarah, who's eligible to receive the help on the Escalate programme? Yes, the, the key eligibility criteria is to be a small and medium sized business, a small or medium sized business operating in the county. Um, it is an ARDF funded programme, so it's European Regional Development Fund, which does have some criteria attached to it. But in the main, um, most sectors in the county will be eligible for the support. Um, the best thing to do is to, to get in touch and have a chat with the team, really. Um, you can go online, as you've mentioned already, Howard, and um, you can contact us directly. We've also got a business support tool, which will help you direct help us direct you to the best program for you um but in the main if you're if you're on this on this call hopefully um you know you've seen the the promotions that we're doing you're looking to grow you're looking to scale your business and you're operating in the county then it's very likely we'll be able to support you and andrea there, there are various ways that, as you've touched on that escalate helps businesses another part of the offering uh, and something that intrigued me was something called power hours uh, what, what are those <laughs> Yeah, um, we're very pleased with that offering. So obviously, as the as the key Escalate advisor, I can advise on um, generic business growth. I can advise on access to finance and becoming investment ready. And obviously, my my core um, my core expertise is international trade. But it struck me that when a business is growing, it needs a much more rounded um, body of support around it. So we've enlisted some um, 10 domain specialists in the area of, um, oh, we've got finance, we've got digital marketing, PR, sales and marketing. We've got a whole um, range of experts in their field who provide one-to-one, -one, one hour, power hours, essentially. So it's amazing what you can pack into 60 minutes and the value that our clients are getting from that expertise and that experience is tremendous because to actually go out and purchase that would cost hundreds and hundreds of pounds. And of course, all of this is fully funded by Escalate, so it's great. Give us a, a couple of examples or a case study of how the Escalate program has actively supported companies locally, Andrea. Wow, so we have worked um, with clients on defining their entire proposition, obviously with COVID and EU exit, we've seen companies have to basically pivot their offering. And we've worked with them, um, for example, one client we've worked with taking their um, their entire training proposition online. Um, we have worked with companies to help them access finance so to become investment ready. We make introductions to um, local investors where we feel that the proposition really has legs and it can go somewhere. Um, loads of stuff, basically. I could say that the amount of support that we can offer is tremendous and it's really um, it's really client driven, if you like. So we ascertain very early on what support that the client needs. And then it's my job to make sure that they can access that at the right time. And uh, just as we leave this section of, uh, of the, our presentation this morning, Sarah, uh, if you can just give us a, an insight into the, the, the real strength of this is that sense of collaborative business community, the power of being in it together. It's a very real one, isn't it? Yeah, it absolutely is. We've um, we've heard that lots of times from the people that we're working with, the businesses that have been engaged with us through Oxlet Business have really valued that ability to um, be part of something bigger where you can gain support from your peers. Um, you know, we've, we've talked about the peer networks a little bit already. That's a great opportunity to, to to form networks that will hopefully hopefully support businesses for for years and years to come, um, and that's something we we really strive to do here. Um, and you know, I think it, it's it's valued by the, the businesses we've been working with. Okay, thank you, Andrea and uh, Sarah. Andrea, you better pull away from those traffic lights now, and the people will be queuing behind you. Uh, I know you're going to rejoin us at the uh, at the end of the uh, the broadcast for our dedicated Q and A section. Looking forward to uh, welcoming you both back. We want today's session to be really interactive, and we'd like to get you taking part. If you're watching this live, you're very welcome. You can see there's a chat facility on the platform. There's also a poll 
Um, so uh, do check out the uh, the various bits and pieces on this platform. There is a poll that's there that you can take part in, and also we're fielding your questions. Please keep adding to the, the questions you've already been posting. Uh, they really are appreciated. Uh, for answers that require maybe a little more follow-up, shall we say, a member of the team will be in touch at the close of the event. And a reminder, if you're watching this as a recording, please get in touch via the website at oxletbusiness.co.uk. Our mission is to help businesses survive and thrive, and we're dedicated to helping you find the support needed to grow your business. Our next guest is the chief executive of an Oxfordshire based business which offers a digital keep safe and end of life app that provides an interactive memory vault securely storing treasured moments and information. We'll hear the inspiration behind his innovation shortly. He created Dialogic, which is the brains behind AfterCloud and received valuable help from the Escalate program. We're delighted to have with us Darren Evans. Uh, who's uh, not in his car by this morning. Uh, it just goes to show the, the, the power of technology these days that we can have meetings uh, wherever. Darren, uh, tell us a little bit about AfterCloud and Dialogic. Yeah, hi, morning, Howard. Great to be here. Morning, everyone. Um, so Dialogic is is effectively the, the company behind AfterCloud. AfterCloud is an app that we use in uh, end of life, so palliative, hospice care, uh, and dementia care. And I have to say, Last week, uh, we we won an, we won an award, so uh, U UK Health Radio Award um, in the dementia support category. So we're now an award-winning app, I have to say. Well, congratulations on that. How how Thanks. big a business is it? Give it give us a, an idea of scale, the number of employees, and 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 how it how it all works. So so we're we're very small actually, the team of four at the moment. But when I joined Oxlep originally, I was a solopreneur, hence you know, requesting advice and uh, and support. But yeah, we're, we're, we're a very small team, um, still virtual as well. And the inspiration behind it was quite a personal one. Yeah, it, about two years ago, my um, we were looking after my mother-in-law who had a very aggressive form of Lewy body dementia. And um, she, she, she very aggressive and within six months she died. Um, after the, the funeral, you you know, when you're going through family possessions and whatnot, we, we, we came across a photo album and uh, it was my son, actually, who was 11 at the time, Dylan, hence DeLogic. Um, going through the photo album, he asked, who's this? Who's this? And my wife, Pam, uh, lost her, her father years ago. And, and essentially, when we were going through the photo album, we didn't recognise some of the family members. And that rich family history is gone. It's, it, it, it's never retrieved. Um, uh, there was also very little in the form of digital content and my son Dylan at the time said dad you know you, you work in technology can we not do something that will help and assist other families uh, and that's that's really where the journey started. That's a very powerful story and and your company received an Escalate grant but have also had <coughs> growth investment support and, and this power hours support as well just break down the the, the support and if you like the timeline of, of, of how it's worked you grow from a, a, a one-man operation to, to four, as you say now, Darren. Yeah, so uh, as I mentioned, I've, I've, I've worked in technology now for 25 years. So I've got a lot of business experience. I've managed businesses, managed companies. Um, when I started this journey, for me, it was my first time as an entrepreneur, so a solopreneur, effectively. Um, I I came across Oxlep through, through you know, networking within Oxfordshire. We're an Oxfordshire-based business. Um, so we started the journey, actually, with a, a Go Create grant. So as, a, as an innovative business, it was Go Create originally, uh, and that helped us develop our minimum viable product. Uh, we then went to market with that product and tested it, beta tested it uh, in real world scenarios to prove the business case. We're now research backed and evidence based and obviously award winning. And we've now moved over to Escalate to help us grow that business. I can't um, overemphasize enough the support we've had through 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 both schemes uh, it's really been second to none and, and how does that support sort of sort of work on the ground if you like and this is you obviously devoting time very precious time to this so, so take us through a, a power hour a typical power hour that you might have had or, or, or some typical support you've received i i have to say i have i jump at every chance of support there is so um, uh, you know, webinars I've been on looking at social value for, for purposeful businesses, um, social media and how to apply that in a logical sense. Um, I've had power hours, which have talked to, well, Andrea is, is you, you, you've just met, I've had a power hour with Andrea in terms of international development. 
Um, I've had power hours with Grant Hayward, who's just fantastic in terms of Beeple, um, Peter Russell, uh, in terms of grant applications and planning applications. I mean, the wealth of experience in Oxlep itself is just, it's fantastic. If there's someone that doesn't know something, they'll know someone who does know. And I think that's that's where it really lends itself. You, you sort of preempted my ne next point, really. With how easy a process is it, <clears throat> excuse me, to, to get funding or or to get the help? Um, uh, obviously, Oxlet Business is instrumental in this, but a lot of business people, sometimes you get to the, the wall and you think, oh, I, I've no idea how I'm going to do this. So you actually go in another direction. How, how easy is it get, getting the help that you need? Well, it, it's ongoing, so it's very. I would say it's very easy. As I say, if there's someone that doesn't know, they'll point you in the direction of someone that does know. Uh, Ant is another one. We, we, you'll, you'll meet Carol actually shortly. Uh, we were on peer networks together, so a whole group or a cohort of of Oxfordshire businesses that get together every so often, um, and and lend support to each other. Really hold each other to account, uh, and I think that really works really, really well. Um, no, it's, it's, it, it, it is really, I think, if there's something that you, you want to find out, you can ask. If you do something wrong, and I'm, I'm talking grant applications and whatnot, they'll, they'll point you in the right direction or help and assist in any way. So, yeah, it's been really, really good. Where would you say your business will be now without the support from Oxlade Business, Darren? I think I'd probably still be in beta. Um, as I say, the grant applications themselves, uh, where they offer match funding, has assisted in our development. Without doubt, I mean, I, you know, it was bootstrap business. It is still a bootstrap business, actually. We've, we're, we're now SCIS ready. Uh, we're investment ready. Uh, we're growing in international markets. Um, I think that next phase is is investment, really, looking for angel investment. But um, no, I think we'd we'd still be back in beta to answer your question, Howard. Darren, thanks for now, because I know you're going to come back and uh, field any questions that uh, <laughs> our delegates watching uh, might uh, have for you. But Darren Evans uh, from AfterCloud and uh, DeLogic, many thanks uh, for now. Our next guest is the CEO thanks, so. of an Oxfordshire business that have developed an app that removes the frustration from non-professional photographers fumbling to capture the image that they want. We've all been there, haven't we? By patenting a series of technologies that enable it to happen intuitively. Let's meet Tim Helwig Larson, one of the founders of Expodo. Uh, Tim, nice to meet you. And I think I uh, with an introduction like that, uh, everyone wants to know what, what your company does and how it does it. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um, well, <clears throat> we're um, we're a little company. It's uh, my wife and I, and we've got a there's a, a coder who works with us out of Germany, and um, yeah, we've. We've developed a couple of patents. We've built an iPhone app, which is a, a camera app that lets you take photos. And essentially what our technology does is um, it makes powerful cameras, sort of professional cameras that a wedding photographer might use. It makes them much more, much easier so that, that any of us could pick up and you pick them up and use them. And at the other end of the spectrum, it uh, allows you to take a very simple camera like uh, the camera in in a smartphone and make it more powerful by revealing the the controls that are in it and it's all about giving people control because when you think about a, um, a photograph if your camera is on auto mode or if you're using a smartphone there's a computer making choices for you and a professional takes control of those choices and we've just made it easier for people to engage with through a, a very simple visual control system and how did this idea come about Tim? Um, well I suppose my wife and I'd always been taking photos we'd enjoyed it but never really got to grips with what was going on someone would explain the aperture shutter speed and it would sort of wander in one ear and fall out the other and then our first son was born and we wanted to get these better photos so we put the time in and i guess so i'm i'm a bit dyslexic i like to understand things visually and ended up drawing a picture which was it's like a donut chart just a, a circle made of colored arcs and my wife said there's some maths there and so she worked out the maths and now we understood our cameras and then we realized that actually there might be a business in this so that's when we when we got going with the, the patent and, and what's the <clears throat> ambition of, of Expodo where, where do you see it going um it, it sounds a bit grandiose but <laughs> we we see it as a visual language for photography that can replace the confusing numbers that control them today f1.4 iso 200 uh, 1 500th of a second those can all be replaced by a simple visual language. So we, we really want to see it in all the cameras. In, when, if you buy a, a Canon or a Sony or a Nikon in years to come, then there'll be this colorful little donut that is your way into controlling it, whether you're an amateur or a pro. 
Fascinating. Your company received access support, then, didn't it? An introduction to an investor and uh, some more of these power hours support. Yes. Uh, to just break again, break those down. So your, your introduction to an investor <laughs> and the access support. Tell us about that. Sure. So um, I think the thing that's blown us away is, has been the support. And we, we came into it with a lot of experience of working with um, uh, advisors. We've got a quite a heavy hitting board and we've got um, you know, photography advisor who's top in his game and someone else from the tech world. And we've had mixed experience with advisors over the time, but, you know, every one of these power hours we've done, we've done about four or five of them, has just been a real eye opener and given us very practical things to, to make progress with. So um, Fiona Scott kind of schooled us in how to, you know, just write a press release, get it out there. Uh, don't worry about talking to local news it doesn't have to be global to start with and and we did and we got we got on oxford radio and we got uh, in the in the oxford mail we had a, a chat to tony who's um business finance um and he was just able to understand the mechanics of our business but give us a, a clearer way to to look at it as we go into the next round of, of raising investment um and we've i suppose in in a similar but different way as a chap, David Finch, who was helping us understand our sort of differentiation strategy and you know, little things that we need to do now, like actually we've got to go and have some some customer conversations on a particular topic that will help clarify a bigger picture thing. I think in terms of the investment, um, that introduction hasn't worked yet, but that's the nature of these things. Um, we, the I think the thing that unlocked uh, this support for us was having won an Innovate UK award in the past and that unlocked our first round of investment. And as we go into it now, I think all of these pieces of support are just helping us be solid on, I, I kind of think of a business as a, a chain. If any one of the key links are broken, you don't have you don't have a business. So it's just really helpful talking on these power hours to kind of make sure that those, those links are solid. And, and what was the, the reaction from the, the press coverage? I, I'm intrigued because obviously you've got something really innovative here. So yeah. <laughs> on, on live radio and, and in the paper, what sort of reaction did you get? I think um, we didn't get much reaction through uh, through those in terms of business locally. Um, we did have friends and family, people at the school gate saying, oh, saw you in the paper, which is great. But I think we're, <laughs> even though it was local, Actually, the value of it, and this is what Fiona was getting across to us, is it just gives you, it's, it's another um, way for you to be Googled. It's on the internet, it's permanently going to be there. And we were able to take those materials and stick them on our LinkedIn profile. And we had, you know, 46 people engage with us and a, a half a dozen comments through our existing network. And I suppose engaging with LinkedIn is another sort of thing that we're just getting up to speed on and realising how useful that can be. Very much so. And, and the process in getting the support that you've had from Oxlet Business, how easy was it from your side of things? As you say, it's you and your wife running the business, so you've not yeah. got a lot of time to, to put no. in massive great applications for this, that and the other. You, you need something that is, to use a phrase, user friendly and pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've we've uh, <laughs> we've experienced time consuming multi day applications before. This this was pretty quick and, and easy. Um, I, I guess I'd say to anyone out there who's who's been through the Innovate UK award process, I think it might be there might be a fast track. Andrea can probably answer that one, but I think there is um, not completely far. Anyway, I think I think that sped it through, but the application process was uh, was was easy. That's that's re really encouraging. And, and what's the the next step for Expodo? So um, next step is really engaging with with the camera manufacturers and they don't know us from from adam so we've been uh putting together um very short video messages that we're we're sending out to them we've had had a no we've had some no replies we had a very ex exciting early response from uh from from one of them saying yeah you hit the nail on the head our user interface is uh crap emoji <laughs> <laughs> nice nice to get um so we're, we're just starting on on that and i suppose We've had some some success with our app in terms of lots of downloads, lots of being featured by Apple, but very little revenue. And we now need to just sort of parallel track talking to camera companies and getting known in the market so that they can see us. Tim, it's been fascinating to talk to you. Uh, we'll have you back at the end for the, the Q&A session. Tim Helwig-Glasser.
from Expo. Thanks, Many thanks uh, for now. Our final guest this morning is the Managing Director of Henley <laughs> of Hensley, Firefly Merchandise. She and her team are increasingly recognised for their excellence in providing sustainable, ethically sourced and personalised merchandise for the business sector. Here's Carol Ingram. Carol, very good morning to you. Tell us about Firefly Merchandise. Oh, good morning, Howard. Thank you very much for your lovely introduction. And as you say, uh, Firefly um, is my business. I've been running it for about eight years now, which is very exciting. Um, I have a background in promotional merchandise and I've been in the industry for 22 years. Uh, and as you say, Firefly supplies organic, recycled and sustainable branded merch to various customers, large and small, um, across the UK and Europe. And give us an idea of the scale of, of your operation, how, how many employees uh, and, and well, where you see it yeah. going. I think most of my customers would probably think there was more than just me, but um, there is <laughs> just currently. I do everything, although I say that. I have um, outside assistance for my bookkeeper and also um, friends in the industry who help out when uh, necessary. But yeah, it, it's currently me and it's been me for eight years. So uh, yeah. It's been quite a, an achievement, I think, but um, obviously I'm looking to expand and um, and grow the business. And you, your company received uh, an Escalate Grants uh, coaching uh, to be successful in your, your second application, together with yeah. scale up and recruitment support, more of these power hours. Uh, I, so yeah. again, just to g give us the, the list of, of help that you've received. T take us through the detail of, of some of that. I've I've had the full works. I mean, re really, <laughs> it started from, I mean, I've had everything. I had the um, LinkedIn training to start with through Oxlep, which then led me into Oxlep. And then I was um, really lucky to get introduced to Andrea. Um, I had some, I've had various one-to-ones with Andrea, actually. She's been really instrumental in helping me um, get the confidence, I think, to go for the Escalate grant because being on my own, it's quite a, and I've never done an, a grant application before, so it was um, quite a, something for me to take on. Um, so I, I, I did it, and I also had loads of power hour one-to-ones. I mean, as you say, the value behind a power hour and what it would actually cost you to go to outside help for this kind of coaching, is just unbelievable. I've had some HR, some PR, sales and marketing, international, I mean, for me, as a single woman business at the moment, it's just been amazing because I felt like I had an extra team. Um, so I have had loads and loads of support from from the guys. Yeah, it's been great. I was just going to say, but as you, you are one person operation, and and yeah. the time out that you take to make a grant application or to whatever it might be, that's time that you're not selling your product. That's time yeah. you're not talking to your clients. It's time away from from the front line, if you like. How, how have you managed to, to balance that and keep the, the company growing? As well, I say, actually, you've been trading yeah. for nearly eight years now. How, how have you managed that with, with the Oxlet team? In, very interesting because because of what I do, my business was absolutely um, um, really affected by COVID. It, my last order, I think, stopped on the 4th of March last year. So I actually had the time because, I mean, obviously I was trying to keep my profile uh, and the business going, speaking to my customers, but... I had the time to dedicate to doing the grant, um, which meant it was a really um, powerful way for me to look at my business right from the beginning again. The grant made me go through the whole process of where I am, where I want to go, uh, put together some goals, which I hadn't really done before. So it was it was easy as in it was, I had the time to do it, but it also, um, it was challenging because I'm a single woman business, but it was a really, really great process to go through. I learned so much and I'm so glad I did it. And, and often in, in the situation that you're in, Carol, I, talking to other, other people in similar type size businesses, you have your head down and you're running really hard. I know obviously COVID put a stop on that, but you don't always look necessarily where you're running to sometimes yeah. and, and having that extra pair of eyes to say, well, wh why are you doing this? And, and what's the, the bigger picture here? That, that is worth its weight in gold. 100% it actually helped me decide what I cared about about the business why am I still trying to keep it going because it's been such a challenging time I could easily just go right at game over eight years I've done this and you know I, it's it's too hard to try and keep going but it really gave me direction it helped keep me motivated it built my confidence um, and it made me realize that I needed to pivot um, 
and I wanted to pivot because my industry has been a real um, contribution <laughs> contributor to um, plastic use over the years. I mean, it's so bad. My industry has been so bad, so it made me realize I don't want to sell those products anymore. I really want to focus on recycle, sustainable and organic merchandise. And there's so much of it. So, and it's about me educating my customers. And that's how um, the Escalate grant has helped me come to this conclusion and pivot the business, basically. Uh, and what about the, the peer group? Uh, side yeah. of this. Uh, Darren uh, mentioned you in dispatches earlier. So how does that help you? Because again, for a lot of people, you, you, you're letting strangers, if you like, sort of look behind the net curtains here and, and, and see what, uh, what happens at the sausage factory. Are you yeah. okay with it? Yeah, well, actually, the beauty of it, that everyone has um, different experience, um, their, their strengths and weaknesses. I mean, their strengths might be your weaknesses. And we just constantly gave each other advice. I mean, I had so much help because the whole Escalate grant is helping me build a new website. And for example, some of the guys had gone through that process and um, highlighted points for me to consider through the whole journey. I have real experience on social media, um, for example, using LinkedIn because of my initial LinkedIn training through Oxlep a year or so ago. Um, so we lit, we really helped each other with all of our experience in different areas. So yeah, I mean, they're, they're meeting this morning, but Darren and I are obviously on here. So if we have time, we can jump into the meeting after because it's still ongoing. Decided to keep keep going with the meetings after the the program through Oxlep. Yeah, I was just going to say that it, it sort of continues after the the yeah. if you like the, the Escalate program is you know you you've you've done your thing with them it, it it can continue afterwards. There's nothing to stop you keeping that group going. No, that, absolutely. You can keep. I think the focus is to try and um, pick a topic for every type of next meeting that you can actually focus on and um, and talk about business in slightly different ways. So it yeah, it's ongoing. Absolutely. Um, and it, it's really good. There's a real mix of people on there. So yeah, the peer programs are great, really cool. Where would you say your business would be now without the, the Oxlet business support you've had? Oh gosh, um, it would either have probably stopped or I would still be in that run of selling promotional merchandise, but not necessarily happy about the type of products I was selling. Um, it, I would probably not have the passion for the business that I have again now. Um, and because I've got completely new direction and, and where it's going and I just feel like it's starting again really um, so yeah I think I'm the fact it's still going I'm still here and I actually I'm excited about what's happening and what's going on that's exactly how you sound it sounds like you, you've <laughs> yeah. been really energized if you like definitely yeah it's really um, it's been really helpful I even had a um, a case study somebody came out and filmed me to, to talk about my experience with Oxlep and the Escalate program and everything I've experienced and um, and even to have that experience because I've never been put in front of a, a camera in real life before sat in my garden on a lovely sunny day and it was um, talking about what I had experienced so yeah it was, it's been really good lots of lear different learning experiences just from um, speaking to people to have to being filmed to helping my business change and grow so yeah it's been really good. Brilliant. Uh, Carol, stay with us, please, uh, because we're going to welcome back Darren and Tim. And let's get Sarah Beale and Andrea Collins uh, from the Escalate program uh, alongside Oxlep's digital marketing executive, Jordan Whitefoot, who's been trying to keep up with the many questions that have been uh, piling in during the, the presentation. Uh, thank you to everyone who's been posting questions for our panel. Jordan, uh, perhaps you could give us a flavour of the sort of things that delegates have been asking. No problem. Thanks, Howard. So before we get on to questions, it's sort of worth feeding back on the poll which uh, we sent out. So thanks to everyone who, who answered that. Um, apologies if it was too quick to answer to. Um, but we got a good amount of response back to that. So the biggest, single biggest challenge that people um, fed back on was the financial constraints. So potentially lack of business cash flow, followed by external factors, um, which is coronavirus or Brexit. And then thirdly, lack of advice and guidance, um, which I think I'm plays in tune with what we've been hearing from businesses. Um, so yeah, onto the questions. Uh, thanks everyone who sent one, sent one in, there's still plenty of time to do so. 
Um, we'll start with this one, I think, probably because the power hours have been, have been talked about quite a lot. But it's um, how do I apply for power hour sessions? And, and Andrea, there might be one sent to you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, can I first of all say, honestly, it's it's quite emotional listening to these guys talk about their journey because I am so proud of the progress they're making. They take every piece of advice and value it and run with it. And it's an absolute privilege to support them. Really, it is. I'm, I'm quite emotional. Um, yes, power hours. So all of the power hours are listed on Oxlep um, Eventbrite page. So we've got power hours that are... Um, scheduled for August now, which should go live today or tomorrow. Um, when you register for one, then you will be sent an Escalate application form um, because what we, I, I can't recall whether Sarah covered it off, but basically once you sign up to Escalate, you're entitled to 12 hours of fully funded support. And we don't necessarily turn that off at 12 hours if you're getting value and, and um, you know, your business is making progress. But initially you have 12 hours and obviously power hours make up part of those 12 hours. So if you were to go onto the Oxlip um, Eventbrite page, sign up for a power hour, whichever one you want. Again, there's nine, 10 different domains. Um, and then on registering for that, you'll be sent an Escalate application form. If you could sign it and send it back to us, you know, um, straight away, that would be much appreciated. Then the girls in the office aren't having to, to chase because we're in an ERDF funded programme, the paperwork is, is really important to us. Great. Um, following on from that, I'll just quickly, I think it's kind of, partly related um, and you may have answered that just then but is there a list of is there a list somewhere of the operation or area of operations you cover in the one-to-one -one section in the one-to-one -one section such as marketing or recruitment do you need to apply for all of them or can you just cherry pick the ones you need um, you can cherry pick the ones you need so um, you know as Carol alluded to there you will have certain strengths and and um, certain experience that means that you're not going to get that much value from that that one-to-one -one with that specialist so you can pick and choose to be honest um sometimes the best way to go about it is to book a one-to-one -one session with myself so that i can get an understanding of where your business is at what your support requirements are and then i can make sure that everybody is um plugged into you at the right time, if you like. So I'm making sure that you're accessing all of the support. So not only what's on Eventbrite, but other things that we know are in the pipeline that I can make sure you're you're getting access to. So that's just um, either email me directly at andrea.collins at oxfordshirelep.com or alternatively, you can go via the, um, the business address, which Sarah just correct me, is that business at oxfordshirelep.com? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, perfect. She's nodding there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, book a one to one with myself, and I can make sure that all of the the relevant specialists are aware of you, and we can plug in the right support at the right time. Brilliant. Um, I think finally we've got one which I think might apply to the top of the business to chip in here, or again, Andrew, Sarah. But if there was one uh, kind of piece of top advice in terms of preparing to scale up, I think is what the question is getting at here. But just before the process of kind of thinking about growing a business, if there's one or two top tips, as it were, to what you need to have in place, um, or what the businesses maybe found and needed in place, the crucial things, um, maybe what they would be. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, Carol kind of alluded to it um, earlier. I think attitude is really important. Belief in yourself, confidence in yourself. There's you know, we're, we're coming out of a pretty tough economic climate and the ones that have emerged particularly strongly are the ones that have not lost that belief in themselves and that kind of, um, you know, fundamental confidence that they have a good proposition, they have a good idea that, um, you know, that they can make it work and also not being afraid to ask for support. Um, you know, reaching out, accessing every piece of support. I mean, Carol says she's had the whole gambit. I've, there are a lot of clients like that. They've kind of taken it and they've run with it. It's kind of having that belief in yourself, not being afraid to ask for support um, and being a bit bold. You know, um, yeah, I can't, Sarah, I don't know whether Sarah's got anything to add to that or any of the guys that have yeah, spoken that, today. Sarah, I think you had your hand up. You wanted to make a point. 
Yeah, I would. I think um, the, the level of support is absolutely fantastic. And I, I'm really, really thankful for all of Oxlip. I would say all of the, all of the, all of the entrepreneurs that have gone through the program have a vision. And I would say break that vision down into achievable milestones. And then that way, the whole team can achieve or help you achieve those individual milestones. Uh, that would be my advice. Yeah. Nods, nods all around the screen. Anything you want to add, Tim, to, to what's been said? I think you're on mute at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> I just uh, totally second the, the idea of chatting to Andrea first because that's really what made sense of it for us. And that's, uh, as she says, that has guided us to connect with the right power hours. And we've just got a ton out of those ones. Great stuff. Uh, and uh, Sarah, the, the doors are open. Uh, that's a, a really important point to, to stress to, to everybody watching here, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Just get in touch with us and we, we'll uh, direct you to the most appropriate source of support. Um, you know, we focused this morning on Escalate, but there's lots of other support on offer. And we've got the business support tool on the website. That's a great first step. If you complete that in, you'll complete that, you can personalise support plan, and then we can direct you to the Escalate program and to other, other sources of support that would be really right for your business. Fantastic. Uh, Jordan, thank you for fielding those questions. Uh, Oxlep's Digital Marketing Executive, Jordan Whitefoot, and thank you to everyone uh, watching, and we've really appreciated all of the questions and the feedback uh, for our panel. It's been great to hear the expert view of Sarah Beale and Andrea Collins from Oxlep Business, Darren Evans, founder of Delogic, uh, Tim helwig Larson from Expodo, and Carol Ingram from Firefly Merchandise. We hope that this presentation, the second in our series of New to Oxlep Business, has increased your knowledge of what Oxlep and Oxlep Business is all about, and specifically the support the Escalate program can offer. We want to ensure that we're supporting as many Oxlip businesses as possible. Please go to oxlipbusiness.co.uk for more information. The team are just a phone call or an email away, as Sarah says. This is a fabulous opportunity to help your business make the next step. Please let Oxlip Business help you head in the right direction. There is no doubt that these are tough times to be running a business, possibly the toughest ever, but help is available. We never have had so much support to offer Oxfordshire small businesses, so do use it. The website again, oxletbusiness.co.uk. Thanks so much for watching, but for now from me, Howard Bentham, it's goodbye.